just gonna be here in this position. You guys are gonna have the guy put double hooks. So again, if you guys get down here on your elbows, you're, you're I, I don't like you guys doing this. You're, you're really a sitting duck. And, and you might do this MMA wise when you start getting hit and you're tired. You know, you, you, you can find yourself here. But like, like doing this makes you feel like you're exposed. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm exposed for a choke or I'm exposed for strikes. So we don't sit here. And you guys always have an option of, you know, sitting out and like getting back over to these positions to try to defend. Mm -hmm. So that's an option. The only way for me to do that, by the way, is if I get myself back. You know, I can't be extended because once he activates those hooks, you're like, oh shit. Now, no, 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 I'm, I'm an actor, Eddie. I'm an actor. Guys, you really, you really, steal, bro. You really think you can hurt me? No, I'm just joking. So, so. Put your hips in, Eddie. But, but. <laughs> <laughs> so. Don't you carry away, bro. Hey, but, but, but you guys see, like, this can happen to you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm being serious though, I do act it out quite a bit. And I do that for the show, but I also do it for like to show you what things are gonna feel like. Cause sometimes people don't understand like the shit's real when it's real. You know, so if he arches, that kind of like uh, put some pressure on you. And now you don't want to be here. Your legs are up in the air. You know, he crosses those feet and, and wide knees. And sit back wide knees. Just sit back for a slight second and go wide knees. Yeah, yeah not too much. Uh, don't, don't sit back too much. Just sit back enough just to widen the knee. Yeah, and then go hit that back yeah. in. Oh my God. Now I'm in real trouble. Yeah, that's uh, Okay? So you don't want to end up there. So the moment they start to activate, I, I'm coming back. I'm bending this hip joint. Mm -hmm. I want the weight to kind of get off my hands. Yeah. And I'm up here on my on my hands. If he goes under for my wrists, uh, behind my elbows, look, my hands are here. If I pronate, he's gonna get those wrists. Turn those elbows in, you know? Mm -hmm. I'll protect my neck the same way I always do, which is he chokes on one side, I look. See what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Not this way, where now? If he squeezes, he's choking me. I'm looking here, so when he squeezes, I'm okay. Squeeze. Yeah. Keep going. And now, when I'm here, keep squeezing. This is going to be the hook that is going to come out. His right. I'm going to shake him. <laughs> now, watch. I'm going to plant my foot in the middle. I'm going to sprawl and mule kick my right leg. Okay. Now, once I'm here, he posted the hand because he didn't want to fall. That's good for him. He wants to stay on top. Okay. I need to make this work from here. Right now, this hook is in the middle. It may shoot across the body sometimes. You do have to worry about arm bars. But once I'm here, I never want him to come back. So, like, like come back to where he can get on my back and get hooks again. I'm always blocking that. I'm throwing him that way and getting him off my back. So now I'm back on top. <laughs> We can go to work on the, the next thing. The mule kick, so without a partner real quick, without a partner, straightening your leg, okay? Bringing my leg back and then rubbing my thighs together. See that? Straight back, rubbing the thighs together. If I'm in a standing position, this is my base. One foot is in the middle. If it's over here and I mule kick, this is like some serious core work. If I put this leg in the middle, this is easy. Okay? I've kind of got this little triangle of uh, balance. You have a guy in your back. Did you, you remember that? So if everybody does this, if you go to push-up position, you bring this leg up, you, your core is working like, like crazy. You do this, it's a lot easier. Okay? Because now you've got some good balance. Putting it in the middle. And one more time. Mule kick starting out learning, mule kicking. So Won't always be easy because some guys don't stretch their legs. Uh, sometimes they, they leg curl, and which is the proper way. Mm -hmm. How, having said that, remember, everybody fights. When they fight, they, they always put too much mustard on everything. You know, so most guys, they're always like, Argh. 
And when they do that, it's just a way that it helps you. Okay, unless you guys are fighting the best in the world, and in that case, you're probably gonna lose. But that's all right. I mean, it's, you know, until you become the best in the world. Teach me grappling, what's up guys? Coach Brian here, and I'm here to tell you about Suplez. Guys, the best dummies in the world for training. You wanna get good at throws, like Jesse, you need a Suplez speed dummy. You gotta get one for yourself. Go to petersongrapplers.com and get your own speed dummy. So first thing, back, stretch me. See, it's tough for him to stretch me. It, even if the guy, like, can't get my wrist. Mm -hmm. um, see, I'm like, I'm hiding right here, looking in. I'm gonna pivot back, one leg up, walk my hands back, okay? He get, he, see how he went double under for, that's for control, right? The unders are the control. Shake a little bit. There's a little side to side action. If you want to twerk, you can twerk. So now once I'm here, look. One in the middle. Mute. Keep that hook in. See how I, now I rub those thighs together. And now as I'm going, there's a couple different ways I can do this part. Sometimes I can go double. I can do the repeat the move and get this one out. If I can't, because the legs are super long. Uh, yeah, like maybe he's doing locking a single hook or whatever. That's fine, we're okay. I can push this leg and get him to fall off that way. Mm -hmm. Okay, pull this one. And then now, boom, we're here. Right into a knee cut. Okay, cool. sometimes you're gonna have ideas like grabbing his wrist. Just please, this is what hurts my heart, is you will do something like this. You'll get 90% of the way there. You'll sit back, you'll start his choke. I look, I tripod stand. I do a little twerk, a little shake, okay? You'll do the mule kick, you'll get this far, and then you'll go, I see a hand! To grab. And then, I, guys, just think like, God kills a kitten every time you do that, okay? He grabs my hand and he starts to choke. Yeah, and you just kill the kitten, okay? Death, death to kittens. So guys, look, um, don't, if you're gonna do this, you have to stay standing. You cannot, if you can't fall down and, and, and let him regain his control, okay? There are many ways, and again, I could show you a few more. Try pushing this, uh, sometimes a little more shaking helps. Um, I talked about before, like a hula hoop, Sometimes his legs across my body, I might pull his leg. You know, if he's trying to body triangle you. I'll pull the side, I'll do that once. To drag him. Yeah, so sometimes I'll sit back. You know, he'll start to choke. I look, he goes, now in this position, when I'm real kick, he's gonna shoot a body triangle. You see that? And now that I've shaken him here, and I'm trying to make him fall. It, stay, stay tight, stay tight. Yeah, stay tight. Now what I'm gonna do is, boom, I'm, I'm getting this out. I'm pulling this across in order to get this. Get my wrist. Don't, don't, don't straighten that. Don't, bam. Don't let him have that. Okay. He's going to try to get you in arm bars. He's going to try. Once he goes arm bar, anybody remember? Big hips. I don't stay right here. He starts to arch. I'm going to drop down right here. Arch. Okay. Big hips. Hips are coming in. There's no arm bar here. There's no arm bar here. Arch, yeah. no arm bar. Yeah. It's all on my hips, subtle. Now I get arm bar. Yeah. Yeah. Pull those heels back. See that? Go ahead, do that. Do that. Try to invert. Yeah, no inversion. Push that leg down, pull it out. And we're past. Okay, let's go. Ready? Why did I show the ending? Why? I have questions about that. Um, the mule kick. The mule kick. You 
need to know this move. Sometimes we'll use it from the bottom, sometimes in the base position, like where we're doing it now. I think it's, it's a good time to, to learn it. We're talking about escaping the back control, even at the same time that you're dealing with a rear naked choke. Stop doing this. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Comment down below, I probably, there's a million things that we could go over. So, if I forgot something, let me know. If you have ideas, let me know. There's always more ideas. There's so much grappling out there. That's why this channel has probably 2,000 videos right now and uh, still going strong. All right, guys, take it easy. We'll see you guys next time with more great stuff. Thank you.